afternoon guys. So I've just come out today. We're on the other side of uh, the Tamurkin mountain I normally go on and uh, this road takes you to sort of the other side where you look over and you're looking towards um, Moiva Park and uh, there's a lovely little camp, well lovely little sort of uh, static home sort of resort just been opening over there. Everything's well. been going on. It hasn't been open lately, but on the way back, I'll show you the the sort of lodge they put there. And uh, by all accounts, it's going to be an absolutely beautiful location. I think there must be like lodges or something, but it looks quite high end and luxury, but it's going to be really, really nice. So uh, I'll show you the uh, this one serious lodge house. <laughs> you could probably live in that alone, it's amazing. But I'll be interested to see what it's like when it opens. But I drove past this little spot the other week, look behind me. There's a footpath sign there, so I'm going to take us along, something a bit different, um, and just uh, let's see what we can see, even if we don't go far, it's just the, uh, just seeing and doing something new, isn't it? It's away from where I normally walk, so I'm quite looking forward to this. So here we go, and uh, let's see, let's see where this takes us, eh? It's just literally there's no one around here at all, so... Peaceful as. Some holly bushes there. I want to come from a holly in December. Okay, let's see what this takes us, eh? It's nice to smell all the wild garlic here. Of course, most of it's gone now, but you can still smell it. It's just beautiful. So pretty up here. Look at those lovely trees. Hey. Right, I've been out for a while, so I'm looking forward to this. Can't see it from here, but just there in the distance, that's where obviously they've been clearing some of the grounds for these lodges. So it's been quite expansive. It's quite a big area. I would say it's probably about, I don't know, 20, 30 acres at least on this side alone. So, yeah come back and uh, come back and show you when it's all done this old path here. Now, I wonder if this has been placed here, or has it just come down with the, the rain? But it's all tree stump here as well, eh? No, it's not tree stump at all. It's, uh, that's an old hay baleage, disintegrated. Okay, so I've been carting down a hay ba bale down here. One of those big massive round ones. Great roots up here though. Right, I'm going to switch off and uh, bring you back at the top. So, I think I might have found the perfect spot of this tree and uh, let me just show you this, can you see the 
angle here, but it's not too far off the ground. But this little spot here, I'll turn you around, and the view we've got from perching up here is just fantastic. There you go, isn't that lovely, isn't it? So, I think I'm going to sit myself here and uh, relax. just going to follow this route now back to the right and the car's that way but it's just as I was coming this way there's a uh, some a motorbike just come down here so doing a bit of green lane in lad on his own just enjoying himself just sort of keep your wits about me just in case he rises back up here but uh he's gone away in the distance so but this is really overgrown look at this Path though, never been here in my life. Right on my doorstep, it's just so fantastic. And I guess, yeah, we'll just get some views in a minute of the uh, the valley across. But uh, just, it's what I love about walking. You just find different routes all the time, don't you? And look, it's going to unfold now. And uh, yeah, no one above you up here, look at this. This path that I've never walked up before, this area. It's what a beautiful little spot. I mean, it's unbelievable. You just not got this day, but there's like, like a little cut through the valley here. And right at the end of this path here, there's like a rock face. Massive, I don't know what kind of stone it is, but there's a massive rock face. So I'm gonna go and explore that at some point. But this is just a real fine look. And this path's go right up here and round here. So I'm just gonna follow this one round. It's just in another walk a bit further in front of me and I left him to his own peace and quiet but uh, this is also the, uh, the path and I'm hoping it's going to like circle around it bring me to the bottom road but what a great spot here and I'm not I'm not well up on my birds that's why I need Simon with me but uh, just seeing some bird circling around here some sort of bird of prey so uh, Simon was with me you know straight away but it's uh, what a fantastic spot, just what a find, see that valley behind me, so this is just fantastic, look at it. The Amazon Basin, right here in North Wales, why do we need to go any further, it's just great. So, obviously, see the tyre tracks on the motocross 
scramblers, whatever you call them these days, have been enjoying themselves, so no harm done. In fact, they probably keep the paths open, don't they? So, uh, the countryside, open for everyone to enjoy. Couldn't get any better this walk. There's the river down below. I think uh, we might be able to just catch a glimpse of it in a minute. It's quite. Uh, we haven't had a lot of rain lately, but this seems this seems to be quite fast flowing. So um, just an absolute treat. This what a beautiful woodland walk. There are those little. It's not. I wouldn't say it was a waterfall. Well, a slight waterfall. Let's go and have a look at it, shall we? Wow, look at this. There you go, natural water coming off the land and uh, look at that, all the stream coming off the side here, little cascades with the rock, look at that, oh look at that, there's some sort of pump contraption here, let's have a look at that shall we? So, I'm going to look this up here, and on this machinery, some sort of pumping station, I think. So, it says Mava and Plate, or no, Mava and Plat Limited. So, and there's some sort of, there's these two machineries here, or I don't know what turbines, I'm not an engineer, but you've got that thing, this which is some sort of pump, and uh, this would be the same thing behind it. I guess there might have been some sort of wheel produce electro power but you've got here this sort of rig behind you behind me here it's just buried in this little little uh, valley here that I just discovered so just what an amazing day you know literally spotted just two weeks ago I thought right I'm gonna go and have a look at that so I think it's probably connected to originally to this sort of pool behind this and there's a hill down here with the, the, the sort of stream continues so I guess that's probably hydroelectric or something like that. We'll have to do some digging. But uh, I'll try and find out what we was used for originally and why this is here. But you can see it's been here a while now and this is just something to see, isn't it? It's just great. I love this place. Right on my doorstep and just never knew it was here. So I'm gonna get back to the path and get back to the car now. Um, and then I'll get on the internet and just find out what's going on with this and see if there's what the story is behind this. But what a great find, great find, great day. One for the lads. There you go. Or well, maybe Izzy, Izzy would like to come here and do this. So, path comes out the wood now and comes out of the woods back in the gate and I guess I'm across a meadow and back to the road but yeah I can see where I'm going now but what a fine day eh? and across here all through these woods there's paths littered everywhere so I will be coming back here another day to explore hope you enjoyed this I'll see you all very soon <laughs>